I wish I can clone myself. Wait, I just did. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. What you're seeing at this moment is a clone. You've probably already seen someone's digital twin hit your timeline. I know I did. And when I saw the numbers, it hit over a hundred thousand views. So, so you know no, I had I to make one. I mean, just think about it. You have a random idea. You could write out the script for it. Your digital twin not only sounds like you, but looks like you, and you can post it in probably about 10 to 15 minutes. What if you're sick? What if you have a family emergency? What if you're traveling? Your content shouldn't just rely on you to grow the brand. Let's create our digital twin. So the tool we're gonna to be using today is called HeyGen. And when you log into it, you're gonna see a menu and under assets, you're gonna hit avatar and hit the plus sign. And what we're going to do is start from video. Want to create an instant or lifestyle avatar with HeyGen? Here's how to film it right. Then it's gonna take you to the screen where you're gonna upload your footage. So it's gonna give you an introduction video, give you some footage instructions. Now it's time to upload our footage, whether we wanna upload it from our computer, record it straight from our camera, record it from our phone, or even upload it from our Google Drive. All right, upload, boom. Then you're gonna see a preview of your video and we're going to leave this as a default of normalizing your video and AI background removal. Now, since we're creating a new avatar, we're gonna hit new avatar. Then it's gonna review your footage to make sure everything is A-OK -okay, and we're going to hit submit. And just like that, we have our avatar. Now I need you to wait to the end because I'm gonna show you a trick that will allow you to change the fits of the avatar so you don't have to keep recording like I did. Now that we have our AI digital clone, let's bring it to life. So we're gonna hit create video. I'm gonna hit landscape. Now you can do portrait if you're going to be doing reels. And it's gonna come up with this default one. We don't want that one. We're gonna actually pick the one that we want by hitting replace avatar. And now we have to make it talk. So we can either write a script here and use our voice that we had uploaded with the video Pro tip, if you have 11 labs and you cloned your voice, you can actually connect it with your HeyGen and pick that voice. Or we can hit audio and record brand new audio or upload audio that we have already on our computer or our phone. So I'm gonna upload the audio that I did earlier. It's right here, add audio. It transcribes it and has your script right here. Now, before we hit generate, there's one more thing we have to turn on so it can give us our facial expressions, our gestures, and really feel like our digital twin. And that's AI Avatar 4. It's going to move realistically like us, face, body, background, everything. And once we hit on, now we can hit generate. All I have to do is name it. I'll just put it as a test. And then press submit. And now we wait. I wish I can clone myself. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. What you're seeing at this moment is a clone. I don't think that's pretty bad, but one to 10, what do you think about that? The great part about HeyGen is that you could create different looks for your avatar. So honestly, I've created uh, me outside, me sitting down, me in the hammock, me looking like I'm speaking straight to the phone, me walking, uh, but let's say, I wanted to change the fit. This is where it gets really crazy because they actually use Google Nano Banana to change whatever you want in this video. So let's say I wanted to change from this hoodie to let's say I have just a regular blue hoodie. So underneath the avatars, I'm gonna see this like AI uh, section where it says describe the edits you would like to make. And so I'm going to pick Nano Banana, but you also could put Flux and I'm going to upload the picture of the hoodie that I want. So I have this and I'm going to write my prompt. So the prompt that I use is replace the tie dye hoodie with the reference image I uploaded, the marathon blue hoodie. And you can see how it looks. Yo, look at that. It changed the hoodie from a tie dye to a blue hoodie. Meaning once you have an avatar, you can change the fits as many times as you want with AI. Pro tip, even though it can change your outfit, I do recommend doing some different looks. Like I have one that I'm sitting down. I have one that I'm standing up. I have one that I'm outside. I got one on the hammock. I got one looking like I'm talking straight to the phone. One sounding like I'm using the lapel mic. 
And so you want to do different things. So you have a variety of ways to create content. Now, could this replace me in videos like this? It could. Am I going to at this moment? No, but let me give you a realistic way of how to use it. So let's say I messed up on a new YouTube video and I'm nowhere near my regular setup. And because Hey Jen only needs two minutes of footage to make my avatar, whatever I messed up, I can replace that with my AI avatar. So majority of my video can be me, but there may be parts of it that is the AI avatar because I couldn't re-record it. Now for social media content, let's say there's an update inside of your niche that you normally cover. You can use your avatar. If you're not in the space to record, you can use your avatar to report on the new update. Or maybe you wanted to create content for your community and send out a message to them. You could do that inside of your community. This is going to allow me to explain things to y'all much quicker while I'm traveling. I'm in the airport right now, but you wouldn't know. That's the whole point of me testing out Hey Jen with different looks to see how good or bad this is. That's just some ways that you can use your digital avatar. Now I use Hey Jen, that link is in the description, but let me know how you would use your digital twin. And if you want to know more about AI influencers, digital twins, and how to use them, I got another video for you.